what time it is. And I gotta be honest, with only three weeks left in the regular season, I cannot believe I almost forgot about my annual ode to the old guys. Let's be honest, we all love talking about the players in their mid-30s who can still find a way to produce in a league that's getting younger and faster with every passing year. But I truly don't think that we realize some of the greatness coming out of the, I don't know, elder millennials in the NHL this season. So I've compiled a nice little list for you of some old guys who are doing work. And let me tell you, there is nothing mid about this list. Number one, Sidney Crosby. And you all knew this was coming because I've said a million times over the last two years that we simply don't appreciate Crosby enough for what he's doing now. Yes, we know he's one of the best to ever play, but this season of his is actually pretty rare. Crosby has 85 points and is on pace for 97. In the history of this game, only 11 players have ever put up 90-point seasons at the age of 35 or older. It's wild. In fact, it's only happened five times in the last 20 years. That's a span of two decades. Crosby is also the only player to score 30 goals at age 18 and then again at 35. I mean, the fact that Sid is hanging around in the top five for even strength points and the top 15 in points overall is super impressive. Bow down to the king. Number two, we got to talk about this renaissance happening in Dallas. I don't know who came up with this term for Jamie Benn, but I stole it and will continue to use it as if it's my own. Jamie Benn is having his best offensive season in seven years, averaging just under a point per game. 31 goals, 71 points, and he's second on his team in scoring, a.k.a. He's producing at a better rate now than he was at 26. Like, what is happening? Wyatt Johnston, that's what. That's a rant for another day, though. P.S., Jamie Benn had just three points in his first nine games and then went off for 31 goals and 68 points in his last 63. Ben is back, and I'm here for it. Number three, don't even get me started on Ajay Kopitar. This man is criminally underhyped, especially this year. 26 goals and 65 points at 35. He's the second leading scorer on his team, and he has a chance to hit 30 goals for the first time in five years. Not to mention Kopi's impact on the defensive side of the game. At 35, he is still manhandling the youngsters in the D zone. He is numero uno, number one, first in puck battles one in the D zone this year. You go one-on-one -on -one with Kopi in his zone, in his house, you're gonna lose. And he wins face-offs with the best of them. Top 20 in face-off winning percentage still. You know where these things matter the most, right? The playoffs, just saying. Don't sleep on Kopi and the Kings. Number four, how about Patrice freaking Bergeron? 10 straight seasons with 20 goals or more. Dude is 37 years old. Bergeron is one of the oldest guys in the entire league and still one of, if not the best, two-way forward in the game. First in defensive zone faceoff wins, fourth in winning puck battles all over the ice, fifth in blocked passes like you can't get anything done in the offensive zone with this guy hanging around he is an animal when it comes to breaking up plays and getting the puck he's also 10th in the nhl in expected goals against at five on five i don't know smells like selkie number six probably on the way number five my sleeper pick for this list Claude Giroux. Ain't nobody talking about this guy, but here he is as the veteran presence for the upstart Senators. He's put up 70 points on a rebuilding team this season. He is the first player, age 35 or older, to change teams and reach 70 points since the great one. Wayne Gretzky, when he had 97 with the Rangers in the late 90s. Giroux still dominates the faceoff circle, too. He's eighth in faceoff win percentage this season. And after playing 98% of his career with the Flyers, Giroux is proving that he is still, in fact, a G at 35. So after all this ranting and raving, what I'm getting at, the moral of the story, if you will, don't sleep on the old guys.